Welcome back to the Grill Hill. Welcome back to Somewhat Mediocre Cooks. Welcome We're... back. What song is that? What's the next line for that? That song you're just, Welcome back. Uh, it's, it's the theme song to an old TV show. So Welcome Back Potter, wasn't it? Yeah. 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 We are, tonight we're going to do Garlic Dijon Steak Bites. Dijon, Dijon. Dijon, Dijon. Whatever. Yeah. Mustard. Mustard. <laughs> Dijon mustard. Now, is it the one with the wine in it, or is it just... No wine. No wine in the mustard, okay. We're going to start with some avocado oil in a cast iron skillet. Avocado oil, because it's got a high flash point, and a neutral flavor, so it doesn't impart any flavors into what you're cooking. And the mission is not to create a beef tip, but to create a medium to medium rare bite of steak. And you want your skillet hot. Yeah, almost to the point of combustion. Hot. It's gonna be a quick cook. You see the smoke coming off of there? Yeah. This is two very nice top sirloins that I picked up at the local Greer's. What you been marinating them in there, buddy? Johnny Fleeman steak seasoning, which we have used before. Yeah. And Groovy Shake. And we might do them in two batches, but we're gonna get a good sear. Hear that sizzle? We're going to get a good sear on the outside of them. And then we're going to put it back in there and cook them with our garlic Dijon butter. Dijon, Dijon butter. Dijon. Dijon butter. Dijon A. Yeah. Yeah, that's it. We want to flip these around. We're just trying to get a sear on them, y'all, some good color. I'm going to move my stuff up out of the way. Yeah, we are going to do two batches because I want to get a good color on these. We want a little bit of crust on the outside. We want them somewhere between medium rare and medium. Medium rare and medium. You yeah. Gonna, you going to do the touch test or are you just going to... I'm just going to cook them till I think they're good. I have a, a thermometer meter here just in case. A thermometer? Yeah. The moment, many, 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 many meters. Sorry, y'all. I'm filming with my phone in with this. So. We got our thermos in here. We also got some ranch mashed potatoes we made that we're gonna put these with. Yeah, right there. Ought to be good. No, really good. Potatoes, butter, ranch dressing. Ranch. Ranch. I guess. Well, should we tell them that story about the creamy ranch? Do you remember that? Were you there that night? Some girl said you got a ranch. You got some rights? Uh, right. Out in the garage. Out in the garage. 916 or what? No ranch. Creamy ranch. You dip stuff in. <laughs> it's in that door in the refrigerator. Yeah. Was that at my house or the apartment? I don't know. How's I was at my house. That's right. I was at my house. Yeah. Yeah. Remember you told me. You don't know. You weren't there. Yeah. No, I said, were you there? I couldn't remember if you were there or not. So. I can't remember nothing. That was a right, long time ago. We got ago. a good sear on these. We're going to put these on this little tray over here. We're going to stir the rest of them. Stir it up, little darling. Stir it up. Let's stir it up. Oh, yeah. Stir it up. Do, do, do. By the way, sometimes you do a steak and don't sear it, and it's just fine. <laughs> just saying, you know. Yeah, you don't have to sear your steak every damn time. No. You I can mean, cook it in the pan without searing yeah, it. A nice sear is good, but the steak is a steak is a steak. Oh, man, they were so tender. Y'all, the reason I bought these two sirloin steaks, this was, they were probably about 10, 12 ounces a piece. And they were on sale for like, I think I got both of them for eight bucks. Yeah. And they were really pretty. How's it going? Really pretty. Alright, we're gonna steer this and we'll bring y'all back when we uh butter braising them. Yeah, see y'all in a second. Alright y'all, we got the steak bites. I'm gonna get you a shirt made. Seared. You know what it's gonna say? What? Alright y'all. Alright y'all. We're gonna put in about a half a stick of butter, unsalted butter. Butter. No margarine. Butter. <laughs> to that butter, we're going to add some garlic powder, probably about a tablespoon, because we like garlic powder. Yes, we do. A 
and a little bit of parsley just for color. But the secret ingredient that a very sweet lady named Miranda told me about was Dijon mustard. Dijon. Dijon. And we're gonna put maybe a tablespoon of that in there. You make this butter and put it over a steak, oh my goodness. Just, oh my goodness. We're gonna stir this around, let it melt. I've got the heat turned down a little bit now because we're not trying to like singe these or make them too tough. They want them, we want them to be tender and juicy and bite through and just, oh my goodness. And probably gonna take about two minutes to get these done. And then we're gonna put them in a bowl over some mashed taters and we're gonna get a fork or a spoon or some sort of eating utensil and try them. Fingers? I don't know, you can't eat mashed taters with your fingers. I beg to differ. Well, yeah, you can eat a lot of stuff. You can't eat, well, you can eat rice with your fingers. It's just kind of slow. You can eat anything with your fingers. You're exactly right. Oh, hush. <laughs> so we will be back when we got all this together, y'all. Yeah, I'm gonna temp one of these real quick. All right, we'll temp it real quick. Oh, that's perfect. What do you perfect. got, 160? 140. 140, that's perfect. That's a little, yeah, that's about medium rare. Yep. All right, y'all. We'll, we'll be, be back. back in just a few minutes. Yep. Or seconds for y'all. You know the drill. We'll see y'all. Yes. Look at it, y'all. Just look at it. Mm. Yeah, y'all stool. Just dag nab it. We're going to pick up a few of these steak bites and put on each one of these plates over the top of them mashed taters. Mashed potatoes. Mashed taters. How you like your taters? And a bowl on a plate. In a cup, I don't care. I like them fried. I, I like taters any damn way you cook them. See, I, I get burnt out on them. I, I don't. I, I can't get burnt out on taters. I like taters, I like pasta, I like beans, I like beans a lot. Are you making a piece of art there? What you doing there, buddy? I'm trying to stack it so it's like. Symmetrically correct. Yeah. Why? Because I've got the OCADD. <laughs> Alright. There you go, sweetheart. Thank you. Would you like yours, James? No. No. Uh-uh. No. So. No. She's no. saying no, uh-uh, no to the dogs. Look at here, y'all. Get that little bit of juice underneath that. Bite of steak. Get yeah, your phone off. Taters. I'm trying to spill mine. I'm trying no to one, it might be hot. It's hot. Yeah. I figured it would be just come out of the fire. That's good. The taters are good. Yeah. The sun's all for a snake, but we snake. I can think of two words to describe this. Dude, that's really good. Damn it, man. That's damn good. The steak could be a little bit less done. No, I think it's all right. But just, damn it, man. Hmm. That's really good. Go away, fly. Especially you like to paint them. Just wow. Y'all do this. Hell yeah. Inspiration came from Miranda's garlic Dijon butter and Sam the Cooking Guy's garlic steak bites. But that Dijon, it, it just, it works. Mm -hmm. It just works. I'm telling you, make that butter, like, if you do a lot of steaks, do a, a stick of butter, two tablespoons of Dijon, some garlic powder, a little bit of parsley, and, you know, just like, oh my gosh. It, it's good. It's good. So, y'all, we'll be back next time. Might have a little surprise for you next time. Might be something you've never done, indulged in. What? Stepped into. Try English again? Never done. It's usually me fumbling words. What? It's going to be something fun. Okay. 
and something good. We're gonna do what I was thinking? Probably, I, I don't know. What were you thinking? What was I thinking? I don't know, we're talking about it when this yeah. is over. Yeah. When we gonna be back? Yep. Same fat time, same fat channel. Same fat ass here, same weird ass there. Without a doubt. We love y'all, peace. You gotta quit putting it right in front of your head. We see, love y'all, peace. See what, that's what happens when you put it in front of your head. Okay. You can't tell what's going on, but I can. Let me try this again. <laughs> we love y'all, peace. <laughs> Later on, y'all. Mike, check, mama Mike, check, Mike, check. We're gonna bring it back. It takes two to make a thing go right. <laughs> okay. No, we're not just mediocre. You already told him good evening. We're just coming back. Oh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> Don't say that again. Why are you going to punch me in the head? Because the camera wasn't on? Yeah. All right. Are you through fidgeting? You want to hit off this? I'm going to lick the spatula. I'm going to lick the silicon spatula. <laughs> Put these onions back here. <laughs> I'm gonna put the onions back here so I, I can turn around and go wait, get the onions. Wait. Can you do that again? How did it go? <laughs> How did you go? I must sit on the bar stool and what? <laughs> anyway. Go. Hi, right, you know what's that? Sorry. We forgot to put it here. What? Peckers and snouts. Jesus. <laughs> I'm gonna get another shot. <laughs>